Dr. Blade. I want to talk to you about swing records. Again, swing records. And I'm going to focus on three of them. Grip pressure, tension slash anxiety, and the hit impulse. So let's first address the grip pressure. If you have grip pressure that is too tight, it causes tension in your swing and it doesn't allow you to release your power levers. If you've been doing the drill that I gave five or six months ago, you should have no more problem with your grip pressure if you've been pivoting your weight, anchoring, and just doing the drill where you, and just maintaining this drill right here, that drill is gonna release your power lever and it's also gonna remove the tension from your grip. Because by now, you should know that you can release the club with a lighter grip versus a stronger grip. And the reason I say that, because if you grip your club on a level of a four, within the swing, that's gonna grip up to about a level of a five to a six. You're always gonna increase your grip pressure just because of centrifugal force <coughs> of trying to hold on to an implement. So start off with a lighter grip pressure, and a lighter grip pressure will also equate to more club head speed. Tension slash anxiety. A lot of times when we stand over the ball, we're so worried about the target and, you know, hitting a good shot that we get tension in us. And that tension starts in the neck, in the shoulders, it goes down your arms, it goes into your wrists. And from that point on, you're not going to have a fluid, effortless swing. So take a few practice swings and just get used to hearing that, that swish at the bottom. See how it loosen up? And then try to grip it tight and get that same swish. So stay loose, stay focused. One thing you can do is make sure you loosen the jaw muscles. Over the ball, make sure you have a loose jaw muscle, which is going to equate to a loose shoulders, neck, and arms. The hit impulse. The hit impulse is a big swing wrecker because it causes the dread over the top. So the way you're going to get over that hit impulse is having that purposeful practice that we talk about all the time. If you work on your core fundamentals, the hit impulse will go away because you will start to ingrain positive feedback from the shots you play on the practice range and on the golf course. So the only way to remove the hit impulse is to ingrain core fundamental principles and start ingraining positive feedback think about these swing records and post below let me let me hear about your comments about your swing records that you know have run you and stick with these kind of comments you know because it, it helped the whole community grow when you comment somebody else may have that problem but you know but may not want to talk about it there's a lot of people that subscribe to channels and the only thing they do is just listen and look at the videos but you know what comment because your comment can help somebody else. So think about those swing records. Be loosey-goosey when you go play golf. Have fun. And start working on your core fundamental principles. And I guarantee you, your swing records will start fading away. Take care. Again, swing wreckers will wreck your game. And the main three are grip pressure, tension slash anxiety, and the hit impulse. Hit that like button, subscribe, share your comments, hit that little bell. It'll, let you, it'll notify you when I post videos. But most of all, keep grinding. This is a wonderful game we can, when we can remove the tension from our golf swing. Take care.